News that a plane crashed and narrowly missed the town of Staines is soon the top story across the country. Within an hour, the news reaches Chris Pollard, a new investigator with Britain's Accidents Investigation Branch. At the time that I arrived on the site, the rescue attempt ha had started big time, and the site was very, very active with people. Investigators are struck by something unusual. In most accidents, momentum carries the wreckage forward after it hits the ground. The crash at Staines is different. The tail had not moved very far from where it had initially struck the ground, and the rest of the aircraft probably hadn't moved forward more than about 50 yards. Yeah, which for such a heavy aeroplane is very, very little distance. Nearby power lines tell part of the story. The older investigators, they were pointing out the power lines which had passed over very, very shortly before the first impact point. If you walked around the back of the remains of the tail unit, you could look backwards and upwards, and there were overhead high-tension cables. And this told you, really, that the aircraft must have been coming down at a very steep angle in order not to interfere with the cables. The undamaged wires and compact crash zone tell investigators that the plane fell to the ground suddenly and steeply. It's a sure sign that the plane stalled. All the sort of basic impact signs were that the aircraft was stalled. The first question is why, 